Games. And it is now the women's 400 meter. The world record belonging to the Czechoslovak legend Yarmia Kratokvilova, 49.59. The American record, Diane Dixon. And she is in the field tonight. Well, you'll notice it's considered a soft record. Even if you spoke with Diane, she'd probably say that. And speaking of that young lady from New York, there she is. Coached by Fred Thompson for many, many years uh, of the Adams Track Club. She changed coaches here, but running just as well as she has in the past. There you see Lawanda Cabell running for Nike's Coast Athletics. She ran 52-64 last year outdoors and was third in this event last year. Well, let's take a look at how this matchup shapes up. One of tonight's most intriguing matchups pits East versus West in the women's 400 meters. That's New York versus Los Angeles. The hometowns of Diane Dixon and three-time LA gold medalist Valerie Briscoe. These two fiery ladies find their confrontations on the track a welcome challenge. Valerie usually beats me to the first turn, and once I got in front of her, you know, I felt I felt comfortable and I felt in, in control. And I said, well, they have to, they're gonna beat me. They're gonna have to come and get me. I fell to the whole way, and she's a great competitor. I race her all the time. She reminds me a lot of myself. She's very aggressive. She goes out. She's an okay person to be with or around. Other than, you know, competition, you always, you don't have no friends on the track on actually running because it's always you against everybody else or you against the clock. So that's basically how I do it on the track. I try and be friendly or try and be more, you know, down to earth or don't really hold grudges. When she wins, it's fine. When I win, it's fine, too. Last week at the Mobile One Invitational, here was the stretch run, and it was coming from behind for a change, Diane Dixon. Watch the finish line carefully. Both lunged. Watch what happened. There are many tackles in the NFL that aren't as clean as that was, and there were some injuries out of that. She had an ice pack on her knee as you look at Valerie Briscoe Hooks walking down the track. Briscoe was okay in the fall. It was Diane Dixon that had an ice pack on her knee, skinned her elbow, and an ice pack on her hip. You well, won't. Diane Dixon. It is probably, Phil, a little bit more advantageous in indoor running to Diane Dixon to run on an 11-lap track over Valerie Briscoe Hooks. She was born, so to speak, on the indoor track circuit, and she runs these 11-lap tracks a little better. From the Soviet Union, you are looking at Olga Brishkina. The Soviet star had her best season ever last year, including a world championship when she beat East Germany's Petra Mueller and Kirsten Emmelman in Rome. What a performance that was. It's true. She is married to Soviet sprinter Victor Brishkin. And uh, you'll notice the Soviet Union, they put an A in the end if you're a woman and you're married. It's Brishkina and Brishkin. Lawanda Cabell will be running in lane one. She placed third in this meet a year ago in the 400 meters. This is an outstanding field. I, I think you'd be hard pressed to, to find a better one in the United States this time of the year, Evelyn. I agree. I think if uh, Valerie had more of an opportunity to train, on an indoor track, she would be much more effective against Diane running indoors. Well, there's no question. You're absolutely right. Diane has mastered indoor running where Bristow and Brishkina have better outdoor times. They also have more speed than Diane does. Diane is the slowest of the three of them at 200 meters, and she runs well, and she's physically very strong indoors. She runs the turns, but they get outdoors, and the raw speed of Bristow makes a big difference, doesn't it, Evelyn? It sure does. Uh, she won't have an advantage outdoors the way she does indoors. She knows how to position herself on the track to get the most out of the, the boards. I think also important here is Diane Dixon points for the indoor season and outdoors, where West Coast runners for the most part point just for the outdoor season. We use the, the, out, the indoor season just to, to sharpen up on a few things, whereas Diane focuses on, the, on running on those boards and doing the best that she can. But I think a competition like this has Valerie Briscoe in the best condition I've seen her in at this stage for the last couple of years. There you see the lane assignments right there. And on the outside, where she doesn't really want to be, is Diane Dixon. Why? Because she can't see what Valerie Briscoe is doing. Briscoe will be in, in lane two. Now this 
She's asking for an affirmation right there of where to start the race exactly. Uh, they've got a number of entrants here in uh, this year's Women's 400, and because of that, they're going to actually run what, in essence, boils down to two heats. This is the seeded heat, however. Valerie Briscoe, sixth in the world at 400 meters last year. Diane Dixon was ranked ninth, and the year before was fourth. Right there, that woman you're looking at, she's tough as nails, and that's probably the same words I could use on Valerie Briscoe, too. Those are compliments for track runners. That's correct. Let's see who gets the lead. Is it Dixon on the outside? She's out well. Used to be the 400 meters was considered a distant run, and now with the uh, quality of the field, it has turned into an absolute sprint, and now Dixon comes down into the close lane. Well, this is a reversal. Frequently, it's Dixon in the lead, but not now. It's Briscoe trying the front-running tactics. And it is really the only way that Valerie can compete in this field is to get an early lead and hope to outrun the field. But keep in mind, the world outdoor champion at 400 meters is running last in this race right now. One to go, 160 yards. It is still Valerie Briscoe. And right on her heels is Diane Dixon. 24.7 seconds, first 200, 200 meters. Valerie, can she hold off the charge of Diane Dixon? Here comes Dixon on the outside. And Valerie Briscoe has won. She needed to take an early lead. She did it. And then held off this outstanding field. That was a fabulous run for Valerie. It's got to help her confidence for outdoors. She has really come along. You know, last year, Valerie went out too fast in the national championships, and it cost her. This time, she paced herself marvelously. It's hard to lead from the front and control the whole race, but she did. The time unofficially, 53 and 4 one-hundredths of a second. Notice Freaky Brishkina moving up as well. Notice the accentuated arm action. These women are weightlifters as well. They lift for strength, and it helped, I think, Briscoe down the stretch. Valerie Briscoe, her time, as Larry mentioned, 53 and 4 one-hundredths of a second. That, that tells you something about the world record set by the Czechoslovakian legend Yarmila Kratokvilova in a time of 49.59. She is a legend. She truly is. And, and uh, was a great runner right up to the age of 35. Valerie Briscoe, a victory lap. And there is her unofficial time, Diane Dixon taking second from the Soviet Union, Olga Brishkina taking third. Well, a surprise here in the women's 400 meters. The only way that lady right there was going to have a chance at victory was to capture the early lead. She got out quickly, established the lead, and was never headed. Field in the women's 400 meters. White Stones is standing by with Valerie Dwight. Valerie, I'm supposing that the time is not as important as the fact that you were able to beat Diane Dixon on a small track. No, I really wanted to run 52. 11. The time was important, but I'm also happy with the win. Is it difficult to get by Diane Dixon on these little 11 lap tracks? I mean, it's you have to establish the position first, and uh, normally that's why. And it's, it is really hard to move past anybody. And she's used to running indoors, so she knows what she's doing. You've had a lot more success than Diane Dixon on the outdoor tracks. Do you feel that the way you're running this indoor season indicates that you should have a good outdoor campaign? Well, the last time I ran this well in indoors was in my 84 years. So if this is any indication, then yes, I guess I'm gonna have a good year. I'm looking forward to having a good year. That sounds like a good statistics. Uh, I hope that's the way it works out. Thank you.